everybody. My name is McKenna. I'm excited to try out my first virtual yoga class with you all. I started my practice here at Montecito in the studios a long time ago, um, and it feels really good to be back, so thank you for having me. For class today, we'll be focusing a lot on joint mobility in our shoulders and in our hips. Props are optional. If you'd like to have one or two blocks or anything similar that you have at home, whether it's a pillow, a stack of books, um, anything that can kind of elevate you, this might be useful if you feel like your hamstrings are a little bit tight today. That being said, we'll get started and I'm excited to meet you on your mats. We will get started on our backs in Supta Baddha Konasana. So you can place your blocks or props to the side if you have them for now. And we'll go ahead and lie down on our spine. Bring the soles of your feet to touch and your knees out wide. And then you've got a few options with your hands. If you'd like to open up through the chest, you can extend your arms behind you in a diamond shape with one palm on top of the other or interlacing your fingers or you can go ahead and bring your palms to your belly to really actively feel your belly rise and fall with your breath. And we'll take a few moments here just to start to slow down. Getting out any last movements in your body or you can start to settle into stillness. And just noticing the quality of your breath as you begin to enter your asana, your physical practice today. The pace of your breath, the depth, the texture. Start to slow it down. Breaths in through the nose. And breaths out through the mouth. Breath in through the nose, feeling the tension form in the chest and the belly. Slow breath out through the mouth. Check the muscles at the back of your throat, seal your lips, breathe in through your nose. And then ujjayi breath out through your nose. Continuing to breathe in this way and allowing our ujjayi pranayama, our breath in and out through the nose, to start to smooth out our breath. Taking each round slower, a little deeper, and knowing that any time the physical practice starts to become a little bit tense, a little bit difficult, we can turn back to our breath as a source of stability. as an anchor to hold us in this present moment. Take a full breath in through your nose. Hold at the top. And ujjayi exhale. Now we start to waken up the body with the fingers, wiggling the toes, perhaps opening the eyes or you can keep them close and then draw your knees in towards your chest. Drawing the thighs towards the belly, pointing the toes, heels towards the glutes, breathe in and then exhale, extend your left leg out long in front of you, wind remover pose. Pull your right thigh in towards your right side body, hug your heel towards your glutes, inhale. Exhale, hip opening, stretch. Draw your right knee out towards the right side of your body. And you can tee out your left arm here, or you can place your left hand on your left hip to hold your hip bones level. So I just let that right knee fall farther down. Inhale. Exhale, supine twist. Draw the knee across your body. You can tee out your right arm and gaze towards the right. 
allowing gravity to twist you farther open through your spine. Inhale, hip opening stretch. We'll make these breath to movement. Exhale, supine twist. Inhale, hip opening stretch. Next two more. Exhale, supine twist. Inhale, open. Exhale, cross. Inhale, open. Exhale, cross. Good. Now inhale, draw your knee in towards your chest. And then extend your heel upwards. So like you're standing on the ceiling. You can interlace your fingers behind your hamstring if that feels good. Or to open up through the chest, you can reach your arms overhead and grab your opposite elbows. If it feels better here to bend your left knee, Place the sole of your foot on the ground, you can do so. And we'll start to take little bends through the knee. So bend and extend, all the while keeping the toes flexed down. We start to draw more synovial fluid into our joints when we do repetitive motions like this, and that just allows our joints to become a little bit more lubricated before we start to get into more weight-bearing exercises. And now inhale, draw both knees in towards your chest. And then exhale, extend your right leg out long this time. Wind remover pose, draw your left knee in towards your chest, heel towards your glutes. Toes point forward. Inhale. And then exhale, hip opening stretch. Draw your left knee out to your left side body. Arm reaches, right arm reaches over. Gaze is to the right. Letting the left knee fall farther down. Inhale. Exhale, supine twist. Draw your knee across you. Gaze turns towards the left, feeling that nice opening through the left outer hip. And then twist through the spine. Inhale, hip opening, stretch, lengthening breath to movement. Exhale, supine twist. Twice more. Inhale, hip opening, stretch. Exhale, supine twist. Inhale, hip opening, stretch. Exhale, supine twist. Inhale, draw your left knee in towards your chest. And then exhale, extend your leg out long. Again, option to interlace your fingers behind your hamstring if you'd like that support. Or you can reach your arms up overhead to open through the chest. Perhaps bend that right knee if that feels better for you. And again, we'll start to take those little bends through the left knee, starting to open up through the hamstring. Toes stay flexed down, and heel reaches up a little higher every time we extend. Good. And now draw both knees in towards your chest. Start to rock and roll the length of your spine a few times. And we'll meet in a seated position. Legs are crossed. Sit up really tall, hands on the knees. And we'll start to open up through each joint in our spine, between each vertebra of our spine is a joint. So inhale, let your head fall back, chin reaches up. And then exhale, chin tucks the chest. Inhale back. Exhale down. Two more times, inhale back. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. And now let your right ear fall over towards your right shoulder, stretching out through the left side of your neck. You can start to move your head front and back a little bit if you'd like to kind of explore the stretch on your body and notice if there's any places that feel good. Maybe extend your left fingertips out to deepen the stretch. Now left hand comes back to the knee, chin goes to center, and then left ear moves towards left shoulder. Again, you can move forward and back. Maybe sticking in any place where it feels particularly good, perhaps extending that right fingertip. And now chin comes back through center. And we gaze up, we'll meet in a tabletop position. So shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. And right away, starting to engage through the core. Draw your palms down and back, shins and knees down and forward. You should feel your belly button pull in right away. 
and we'll aim to keep this engagement as we move through a few cat and cows together. Inhale, cow pose, belly drops down, chin reaches up, chest presses forward. Exhale, cat pose, round through your spine. Draw your chin towards your chest and your chest towards your thighs. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Now inhale, find a flat spine and tuck your toes. Exhale, hovering tabletop. Knees come two inches off the mat. Arms stay engaged. Press your fingertips down. Inhale, reach your right leg behind you. Toes flex down. Glutes lift your heel higher. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Two more times. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. And exhale, neutral tabletop. We'll take a cat cow to flush it out. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Inhale, neutral tabletop, toes tuck. And exhale, hovering tabletop. Inhale, extend your left leg out this time, toes flex down, heel lifts up. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Last time, inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Neutral tabletop, tuck the toes, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips up and back. Press through your palms, spread your fingertips wide. And just starting to take any motions here before we start to settle into stillness in this shape. Maybe bending one knee, bending the other, a slight bend in the elbows, perhaps lifting the heels and letting them fall down. And find stillness. Inhale, knees forward. Exhale, ragdoll pose, little tiny steps. Take your toes behind your wrists, hip width distance, maybe a little bit wider. And then bend the knees, let your belly rest on your thighs, and your head become heavy. You can grab your opposite elbows and let your torso sway side to side. Allowing gravity to create an extra centimeter of space, create each vertebra of your spine. Maybe nod your head yes and no. And then release your hands down to the mat. Heel toe your feet into touch. And then inhale, slowly rise, stack one vertebra on top of the other until you arrive. In a standing position, shrug your shoulders up, back, down, and around. Exhale, samasitihi. Bring your hands to heart center. Let me close your eyes. Taking this moment to gather our breath, to iron it out, smooth it out once again. We take a full breath in. And an open mouth exhale. Full breath in. Breath out through the Now we'll begin our practice. Release your hands down by your sides and blink open your eyes. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your hands back, up, and around until your fingertips are reaching up towards the sky. And we'll hold here and breathe. Draw your hip points up towards your low ribs, pressing the hips slightly forwards. You can roll out your wrists, wiggle your fingers, whatever feels good. Inhale. And then exhale, reach your hands back, down, and around. Inhale, mountain pose with a slight back bend. Lifting your chest up, pressing the hips forward. Then exhale forward, full of hinge forward at your hips. Rest your fingertips down, chin tucks to chest. Inhale, halfway lift. Slide your palms to your shins or your thighs. Reach the crown of your head forward. Roll your shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, high plank, plant your palms under your shoulders, step your feet back hip width distance, hold here. And just like in mountain pose, drive your hip points towards your low ribs, really engaging the core. 
And we'll move into serratus push-ups. So rather than bending the arms, instead we keep the arms straight. We start to lower the chest down between the shoulders and press it back up. Lower down, lift up. Good. And now if this doesn't feel so good, you can lower onto your knees and just keep that same motion. Starting to warm up to work our serratus muscle, our lats, our teres minor and major, and our rhomboids. Muscles that are really important for shoulder mobility. Last four. Three. Two. And one, tuck the toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full run with breath, inhale. And then open up, exhale. And now we move on to linking breath to motion. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step, hop jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Hands reach back, around, and up. Exhale, sama sutihi, hands to heart center. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, hands go back, down, and around. Inhale, mountain with a slight back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, jump or step back. Breathe in. And then exhale, slowly lower down, all the way to your belly. Palms stay under shoulders. Squeeze your ankles together right away. Inhale, cobra pose, Bhujangasana. Lift up through your chest, little to no weight in your palms. Next day is long. Jaw and forehead relax. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. We'll take two more just like that, rolling cobras. Inhale, cobra pose, bhujangasana. Exhale, lower. Inhale, bhujangasana. Exhale, lower down. Good, now inhale, tuck the toes. Move through high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last time through, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step, hop, or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Hands move back, around, and up. Exhale, sama sutihi. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, hands move back, down, and around. Inhale, mountain with a slight back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, palms plant, toes step back. Inhale, hold. Exhale, slowly lower down onto your belly. And now this time, arms extend behind you, palms face down. Squeeze your ankles together, squeeze your inner thighs. Inhale, Shalabhasana, lift your feet up, lift your hands up, lift your chest up. So total engagement across the back line of your body. Squeeze your pinkies in towards one another. Squeeze your ankles together. Keep your gaze long. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Let your palms tuck your toes. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. And then open mouth, exhale. We're trying to our Ujjayi Pranayama breaths in and out through the nose. Inhale, lift your right leg up high, toes flex down, hips to the level. Exhale, low lunge. Good. Now start to take little pulses through your hips, just letting your hips drop down. Starting to open up through the left hip flexor. Allowing gentle movements to wake up your joints. And now start to shift your weight into your right foot. Left knee comes in towards your belly, and then rise up to one-legged Tadasana. I'll face you so you can see what I'm doing. From here, inhale, and exhale, hip opening stretch, just like we did on our backs, using your outer glutes to drive your knee farther out. Inhale, exhale, warrior three, float your left foot back, torso T's out with your standing leg, so forming the shape of a T. Chest and left leg are parallel with the ground. 
Inhale, one leg Tadasana, left knee moves forward and up. Stretch to warrior three. Inhale, one leg Tadasana. Good. Exhale, hip opening, stretch to warrior three. Inhale, one leg Tadasana. Now moving in the opposite direction, inhale. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, hip opening, stretch to one leg Tadasana. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, hip opening, stretch to one leg Tadasana. Exhale, warrior three. Now listen here, inhale, one leg Tadasana. Exhale, hip opening, stretch to warrior two. Step back with control. Right heel is directly in line with the inside edge of your left foot. You can start to roll out your wrists. Maybe flex your fingertips up to stretch out your forearms. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, torso shifts forward. Left fingertips reach up. And then drive your right forearm into your right knee to open up further in your chest. We'll start to take some circles with our left arm. Inhale, reach your left arm further back. And then exhale, let it drop down and back. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, down and back. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, down and back. Listen here, inhale, reverse warrior. Reach your right fingertips up and back. Stay low in that right knee. And keep your breath nice and steady. Press your rib cage farther forward. And then lower down a little bit more. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Wiggle your hands down. Bring your front foot. Listen here. Inhale, one-legged plank. Right foot flows back. Then we'll take some hamstring extension. So inhale, bend your knee. Exhale, reach it back. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Three more. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Last one. Inhale, bend. And then exhale, high plank. Inhale, shift forward two inches. And then exhale, low plank. Bend your elbows. Squeeze them in towards your sides. Inhale, upward facing dog. Arms straighten. Chest pulls forward. Breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Same thing, other side. Inhale, lift your left leg up high, toes flex down, hips stay low. Exhale, low lunge. And starting to let the hips drop down a little bit. Pulsing up and down. Opening up through the right hip flexor this time. Begin to shift your weight forward into your left foot. Draw your right knee in towards your chest. Inhale, one-legged tabasana. And we'll do the same thing as we did on the other side. Inhale here. Exhale, hip opening, stretch right knee, comes out to the side, using your glute for stability. Inhale. Exhale, warrior three. Right foot reaches back. Toes flex towards your face. Reach your thumbs up towards the ceiling. Inhale, one leg Tadasana. Exhale, hip opening, stretch to warrior three. Inhale, one leg Tadasana. Exhale, hip opening stretch to warrior three. Inhale, one leg Tadasana. Moving the opposite direction. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, hip opening stretch to one leg Tadasana. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, hip opening stretch to one leg Tadasana. Good job, last one. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, hip opening stretch to one leg Tadasana. And now we'll move through, inhale. Exhale, hip opening stretch to warrior two. Moving with stability. 90 degree bend in that left knee. Roll out your wrists. Maybe flex your fingertips up. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Torso slides forward, right fingertips reach up and towards the front of your room. 
Fingers over the right bicep. We'll take those same arm circles. Inhale, right arm reaches back. Exhale, let it drop down and around. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, down and around. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, down and around. Inhale, reverse warrior. Left fingertips reach up and back. Chest is still lifting up tall. And slide your ribcage forward. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge, windmill your hands down. Inhale, one-legged plank. Left toes float back. We'll take those same hamstring extensions. Inhale, bend your knee. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend three more. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Last one, inhale, bend. And exhale, high plank. Inhale, hold. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. High, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job, breathe in. And an open mouth, exhale. So it's important to note that you don't have to do Chaturanga Dandasana every time you flow through a vinyasa in practice. Always option to move through Cobra or any other chest opener, or you can hold high plank, or go straight back to down dog. And now we'll flow through. Breath to movement, adding on a little bit as you go. Inhale, lift your right leg up high. Exhale, no lunge. Draw your left knee in towards your chest. Inhale, one leg to asana. Exhale, hip opening stretch to warrior three. Inhale, one leg to asana. Exhale, hip opening stretch to warrior two. Breathe in, hold. Exhale, extended side angle. Now option here to take a half bind with your left arm around your low back. And the objective here is not so much to reach your fingertips down, rather it's to pull your elbow and your shoulder farther back to twist open further through your chest. Really good. Now option to keep your forearm down. Inhale. Reverse warrior. And exhale, high to low plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up high. Exhale, low lunge. Draw your right knee in towards your chest. Inhale, one leg to dasana. Exhale, hip opening stretch. To warrior three. Inhale, one leg to asana. Exhale, hip opening stretch. To warrior two. Breathe in here. Exhale, extended side angle. And again, option for that half bind with your forearm around your low back. Right elbow pulls back, right shoulder pulls back, and chest lifts up. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach your left fingertips up and back. And exhale, chaturanga dandasana. High to low plank or any variation thereof. Inhale, up dog if you're flowing through. Exhale, downward facing dog. Really good. Inhale, lift your right leg up high. Exhale, low lunge. Now listen for the change here. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Left knee touches down. And arms reach up. Shoulders stack over hips. If you'd like to get a little deeper, you can slide your left shin further back. Inhale here. Exhale, half splits. Ardha Hanumanasana. Then extend through your right leg. Toes flex up towards your face. And we'll keep your spine nice and straight. And now we'll start to let our front toes fall towards the right side of the mat. And to the left, we actually have three hamstring muscles that run along the back of our leg. So starting to get into all three. And getting even farther into that hip joint. And we'll find some stillness. We'll move through these two positions, breath to movement. Inhale, crescent moon. Low crescent moon. And exhale, half splits. Inhale, low crescent lunge. 
Exhale, half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, low crescent, Omnimayasana. Listen for the change, exhale, low lunge. Palms plant, back toes tuck, knee lifts. Shift your weight forward, draw your left knee in towards your chest. Inhale, one leg Tadasana. And now, here, we're going to start to take an isometric fold. So extend your left knee out to the side, and then place your left palm outside your left knee. You won't be able to see the motion, but you'll be able to feel it. Press your hand into your knee, and your knee into your hand. So really engaging those outer glutes, and using the right glute to stabilize you. Nice. Inhale. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, one leg Tadasana. Exhale, open, stretch to warrior two. Breathe in. Exhale, extended side angle. Now, option for that same half bind with your left forearm, and then extend your right fingertips forward. So using only your core for stability here, keep twisting your chest open, and extend the crown of your head forward. Inhale, reverse warrior, right fingertips reach up, and now we're going to flow through those two poses, rep to movement. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, option to reach your left fingertips forward too. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga and dasana. High to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, low lunge. Listen for the chain. Inhale, crescent moon. Back knee lowers down. Fingertips reach up. Again, option to slide that right shin farther back. Press your right hip slightly forward. And notice that opening through the right hip flexor. Inhale. Exhale, half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana, extend the left leg straight. Hip stack right over right knee. Flex your toes towards your face. And perhaps let your toes fall to the right, to the left, getting into all three of our hamstring muscles. Keeping the breath nice and steady. And now we make breath movement. Inhale, low crescent lunge, Andhanayasana. Exhale, half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Exhale, half splits. Last time through, inhale, low crescent lunge. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Exhale. Low lunge, back toes tuck, back knee lifts. Shift your weight forward into your left foot. Draw your right knee towards your belly. Inhale, one leg Tadasana. Right knee lifts up. And we'll take that same isometric hold. Right knee comes out to the side. Press your right hand to the outside of your right knee. Again, you won't be able to necessarily see the change, but press your knee into your hand really hard in your hand into your knee. You'll feel your outer glute turn on and your left glute stabilizing you. Inhale. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, one leg to asana. Exhale, hip opening stretch to warrior two. Good. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Take that half bind with your right forearm. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, floating extended side angle, both arms reach forward, or you can take the half bind. Chest keeps spinning open towards the ceiling. Reach your left fingertips farther forward. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, floating extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Last time through, inhale, reverse. And exhale, floating extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. 
And exhale, Chaturanga Dhanasana. High to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in. And open mouth, exhale. And now we'll move onwards. So from here, start to round through your spine, kind of like cat pose. And then press your way forward to a high plank. And now like cow pose, let your belly drop down, hips lift up. Press back to down dog. Inhale, roll forward to high plank. And then exhale, press back to down dog. Two more times. Inhale, round forward. Exhale, belly drops, hip, lift, hips lift. Down dog. Inhale, forward. Exhale, press back. Full breath in. Open up, exhale. And now drop down to your knees. You can grab some water if you'd like. Towel off. I'm sweating a little bit. And we're going to take a bit of an active recovery stretch here. We've done a lot of hip opening. Now we're going to close them off and get through the outer glutes. So we'll start in a cow face position on the right. Bring your right leg over your left so that your right knee is stacked directly over the left. Flex your toes forward. And then inhale, reach up, straighten your spine. Exhale, slowly lower down with a straight spine until you feel a nice opening through your right outer glute. From here, lower your fingertips down, press your chest forward. Inhale. And then exhale, round the spine. Let your head drop down and relax your arms. If this really doesn't feel good on your hips, you can extend your left leg forward. But if it does, you can keep that in it. So we just slow the breath and check back in. Inhale, slowly rise up. And then we switch out the legs. Left knee stacks over right for cow face legs. Heels come in towards the glutes, toes flex forward. Inhale, reach up, and exhale, lower down with a flat spine until you feel a nice stretch. Release your fingertips down. Inhale, press your chest forward, and then exhale, round through the spine. Chin drops, drops down, arms extend forward, and relax down the two. Using this moment to Reflect back on the way your breath felt as we began class today and notice any difference here. Maybe your breath is warmer, stronger, a little bit quicker. And then the same way our breath serves us in our practice at this moment. Good. And now I'll rise back up and I'll be in a downward facing dog. A few breaths. Take a big breath in through your nose and an open mouth exhale. Now lift the right leg up high and then exhale, scorpion your dog. Bend your right knee, stack your right hip over the left. Little circles in the knee and the hip one way and then the other. And then in the ankle, roll it out. Inhale, straighten the right leg and exhale. Lunge. Inhale, high crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana. Shoulders stack over the hips, fingertips reach up. So back knee stays lifted this time. And then press your hips forward. You should feel a really nice opening through the left hip flexor. Slight bend in the elbows, shoulders drop down. Inhale here. Exhale, lift your right heel up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. So starting to link these calf raises with our breath. Two more. And inhale, release down. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, triangle pose, trikonasana. Torso slides forward. Left fingertips reach up. Now here, if you'd like some more core work, you can reach one or both arms forward. If you'd like some more opening through the shoulder, you can take a half bind. Keeping a slight bend through 
through the right knee to protect their joints and stacking the left hip over the right. Inhale. Exhale, pyramid pose. Point your left toes towards the top of your mat and step them in until both heels can glue down on the ground. Now this is where some blocks might come in handy. So if you feel like this is really hard on your hamstrings, you can place blocks or whatever props are your proxy blocks for now to lift your chest up higher and take some pressure off your hamstrings. And once you're in a comfortable place, we'll lift some breath to our movement. Inhale, halfway lift in your spine, spine is straight, and then exhale round. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale round. Two more times, inhale, straight spine. Exhale, round down. Inhale, straight spine. And exhale, round down. Inhale, halfway lift with your spine. And then exhale, low lunge, front knee bends, back toes tuck. Heel toe your right foot out towards the top right corner of your mat. And then drop your left knee down for runner's lunge. So in this variation, we're going to stay on our palms. Start to lift your right knee fall out towards the side and roll to the outside edge of your right foot. Pressing in gently with the right hand, really getting into that right outer hip. And then right hand comes back towards the mat and we'll start to move with our breath. So inhale to prepare. Exhale, let your left hip drop down, turn your torso towards your right leg. And then inhale, twist open the other way. Twist your chest towards the left. And then exhale towards the right. Left hip drops down. Inhale, open to the left. Exhale to the right. Last time through. Inhale to the left. And exhale to the right. Good. Now come back through center. Heel toe your front foot to the middle of your mat. Tuck the back toes, back knee lifts. Plant your left palm down. Option here to grab on to your right toes with your um, right piece fingers. And we'll move into side plank. So begin to roll to the outside edge of your left foot with your toe and big, or your hand and big toe variation. You can extend your leg up or option to just float your right foot up. Stack your feet, stagger, or come down to your left knee and reach the right foot up. Any variation is fair game. Take one more full breath in. And then exhale, wild thing. Right foot lands on the right side of your mat. Lift your hips up. Lift your chest up. Squeeze your glutes. Inhale. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Or straight back to downward facing dog. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Whew. Same thing, other side. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, scorpion your dog. Bend the left knee, stack the left hip over the right. Circles one direction, and then the other. Roll out the ankle. Inhale, straight leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high crescent lunge on Vinayasana. Shoulders stack over hips. Fingertips reach up. And again, sitting low through the left knee to open up further through the right hip flexor this time. Core engage to lift your chest up. We'll take those same heel lifts. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, left heel lifts. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Three more times. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Nice and slow. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, triangle pose, trikonasana. Torso slides forward. Left fingertips or forearm. Come to the inside of your left leg. For more core work, arms can reach forward. For more shoulder opening, you can take a half bind. Keeping that slight bend through the left knee. And knowing that it's not about lowering down, 
It's about lifting up, so really lengthening through your side bodies and engaging your obliques. Inhale. Exhale, pyramid pose. Bring your front foot in your hands and then step your right foot in until your heel meets the mat. Again, this is a great place to use your blocks or any other props that you may be using at your home practice. Press the right hip forward, left hip back. And then we'll blink our motion with our breath. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, round down. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale. Low lunge, bend through your left knee, right to a step. You'll toe your left foot out to the top left corner of your mat. Right knee drops down for runner's lunge. And then again, staying on our palms for this variation, let your right foot roll to the outside edge, your left knee open up. You can press your left palm into your left knee, open up a little further, and lifting through the chest. And now both palms plant down. Again, we'll take those same little twists and rock side to side. Inhale. Exhale, let your right hip drop down, twisting open to the left. And then ex or inhale, move to the right, opening up through the right hip flexor. Exhale, hips drop to the right, here to the left. And inhale, other way. Exhale, back. And exhale back. And inhale, return to the low lunge. Left toes come to the middle of your mat. Back toes tuck, knee lifts. Again, this is just an option. Option to grab onto your big toe. Otherwise, we'll move into a side plank. So roll to the outside edge of your right foot. Left foot meets the right in whatever way feels good. Option to float your left foot up. Option to stack. Option to stagger. Option to let that right knee drop down. And lift the left leg up. All variations are good. And it may not be the same as the last side. It's all about what feels best on your body. Put the hips slightly higher. Inhale. Exhale, wild thing. Left toes reach over. Ball of the foot meets the ground. Hips lift up. Throat opens up. Head drops back. Inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. High to low plank, or straight back to down dog. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Take a full breath in, and an open mouth exhale. Full breath in. Breath out through the nose. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float to the top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, crow pose, Vipassana. Plant your hands in front of your shoulders, and then bend your elbows, bend your knees, so that your knees are really high up on your triceps. And then from here, start to shift your weight forward into your hands until your elbows stack right over your wrists. And then perhaps one foot lifts off the ground, maybe both. Big toes touch, heels draw in towards hips. And if this feels pretty familiar to you, option to move into crane pose by straightening your arms and shifting your weight forward. Last four, wherever you are. Three, two, and one. Moving into Malasana or Yogi Squat. Feet come to the width of your mat, hands to heart center, and elbows press in to your inner thighs or the inside of your knees. And from here, close your eyes. Start to sway side to side, enjoying that openness in your hips, and slowing down the breath. Inhale. Exhale forward, full of hips lift up. You'll toe your feet to about hip width distance. 
We'll take gorilla pose. Slide your palms underneath your feet until your toes meet your wrists. And then bend your elbows, bend your knees, making your way into a shape that feels good for you. I like to straighten my arms and then pull upwards, rounding through my spine to stretch out my forearms. Or if you'd like some more hamstring stuff, you can bend your elbows and pull your chest closer to your thighs. Maybe wiggling the toes, shifting your weight around on your palms. Inhale, and then exhale, release to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Starting to slow down, inhale, lift your right leg up high. Exhale, half pigeon, right knee comes towards your right wrist. Slide your left toes back. And first we'll sit up tall, hands by the hips. Draw your chest forward, reach your chin up. Inhale, exhale, sleeping pigeon. Recline your chest forward, arms extend forward. If this doesn't feel good on your hips or on any part of your body, you can make your way into a supine figure four stretch. And we'll take a few breaths here. Allowing any tension in the body to dissipate each exhalation. Releasing the jaw, the forehead, the shoulders. And then slowly rise back up to your palms, tuck your back toes, and step your right foot back for high plank just for a second. And we'll lower back down to our belly. Extend your right, left, right arm out to the side and then plant your left palm on the ground. Pick your left leg up and older, over for a shoulder stretch and let your head rest down. So opening up across the front side of our right shoulder. Option if you'd like to go a little deeper to reach your left fingertips back maybe for a half bind, or if you have the flexibility, you can grab for your opposite hand or upper arm. Allowing the breath to settle you here. Inhale, and exhale, roll through center. Left arm extends out, then through the right arm, place your right palm on the ground, and then shoulders stretched to the left, right leg kicks up and over. Allow your head to rest down. Again, if you'd like to increase the depth of stretch, you can reach your right arm behind you with a half bind, or perhaps working to grab on to the left arm or a left palm. Inhale. Exhale, roll through center. Plant the palms, tuck the toes, inhale, tabletop or high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Same thing, other side, inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, half pigeon. Left knee comes towards left wrist. Untuck the back toes, slide the right shin back. Breathe in to the really tall, slight bend through the spine. And exhale, sleeping pigeon behind. Allowing the sensations in your body to ground you down, to anchor you down in this present moment. And then start to rise up. Into your palms, tuck the back toes, step the left foot back, and then lower down onto your belly again. 
This time, kick your heels in towards your glutes. Grab from the outside edge of your ankles or your feet. And then knock your knees back together. Inhale, boat pose, or bow pose. Lift your chest up. Kick your feet into your hands. Knees draw in towards one another. Chest lifts. Keep your breath nice and steady. It's okay to rock back and forward a little bit. Inhale. And then exhale, release your right cheek down to the mat, your belly down to Shavasana. Bend your knees, maybe sway your feet side to side to release through the low back. And then switch cheeks whenever you're ready. Begin to find stillness. Press up to a high plank or tabletop. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Gaze forward, step, hop, or float to a seated position at the top of your mat. And then we'll lie down on our backs. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Inhale. And then exhale, eagle your right leg over your left. And then let both legs drop to the left side of your space. Gaze turns towards the right. You can close your eyes and allow them to stay closed for the remainder of class. Drop both knees back to center. Switch out your legs. Left leg wraps over right, and then both knees to the right side of your space. Chin drops towards the left. Eyes closed. Draw both knees back into center. And exhale, happy baby, Ananda Balasana. You can grab to the outsides of your thighs, of your feet. I like to grab from my big toes with my peace fingers. And then draw your knees, your inner thighs, into your side body. Making sure that the entirety of your spine from your tailbone to both shoulder blades is glued down. You can extend one leg and then the other. Maybe sway side to side. And then draw both knees back into your chest. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Grab your forearms around your shins for ball pose. Forehead touches to your knees, spine rounds. Final inhale with an expression of gratitude for all that your body has carried you through on your mat and off of it. Exhale, release the Shavasana. Legs extend out. Arms fall open. Fingertips curl inwards. Allowing the breath to move at its own pace. And just noticing the cadence of your heartbeat. Allow your body to fully take up space, knowing that you are not who you were one year ago, one day ago, one minute ago. You are only who you are in this moment and in this breath. Full breath in. Full breath. Call you out when it's time. We'll remain in Shavasana for a few more breaths.
you have the time, you're more than welcome to stay in Shavasana for a little while longer. And if you feel your day, your night, your morning calling to you, you can start to awaken the body by rolling up the wrists and the ankles, one leg, the other, wiggling the fingertips and the toes, let your head drop side to side your jaw, and then wrap your arms over your chest, give yourself a hug, stretch out the back side of your shoulders, and reach your arms, extend them behind you for a big good morning, evening, day stretch. And then as you're ready, we'll roll to our right or left side for a fetal position, rest your head on your bicep, knees tucked in towards chest. Allowing this moment of transition from your practice on your mat to off of your mat to actively select what you would like to carry with you, what you would like to leave behind. As you're ready, gently press yourself up to a seated position, cross your legs, keep your eyes closed, bring your hands to heart center, and final round of breath together, breathe in. Moving on, exhale. Put your thumbs to your forehead. We bow forward together in solitude and gratitude for one another and for this practice. Namaste.